Hi guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. My name's Lucy and we're back for more stitching. Um, we're back, as you can see, on the last Let's Have Coffee piece that I have and that I really want to complete as soon as possible. Um, but before we get to the stitching, I wanted just to, because I had a lot of comments, um, um asking me about how i keep my um fabric in my frame really tight and how do i secure it to my table so that it is stable so i just wanted to show you quickly the setup of the um, whole thing so first off to have it really tight to have the fabric really tight if you are working on a q-snap i would absolutely recommend this i don't even know if you can call it a technique but as you can see i have a kind of yeah this is like thrifted fabric yeah i think it was a bed sheet um i made the little pouch for my bobbins as well out of this um fabric and um <clears throat> the trick is to to fold um to fold the fabric in like several layers and then placing it be between the cylinder plastic thingy and the fabric that you're stitching on so that you can you know it, it is very tight in there so if it, it won't pull as much and you can do this on on the four the four sides of the q snap and hopefully it will um stay a little tighter uh, i had this problem before i completely understand why it is um, it is very like annoying so yeah here you go and um, as to how I keep it uh, stable onto my table this is a clamp um, I, I yeah it is very big um, I think maybe you could get away with a smaller one um, but uh, you know I just want it extra tight so as you can see there is a piece on the bottom and a piece on the um the upside and what you do is like you do it like this to tighten it up so uh, this is super sturdy and i can get away with a few shaking um the thing isn't coming off and it is re really like um practical and and convenient because you know you have plenty of space underneath you don't have to uh, invest in a stand for your frame it is super cheap I think I paid that um, nine euros something like this so you know you can invest in a couple of ones and if you're if you're um, worried about the thing like maybe not being that stable you can have another one on the other co on the other corner <laughs> sorry um, and you're ready to go so yeah that was the little um tips and tricks <laughs> part of the video now we're gonna stitch so got you all zoomed in um i must admit i don't quite remember the color uh correspondences with the with the symbols because it's been a hot minute since i've uh, worked on it uh, i've done quite a little bit since i last dated you on the on the project but i think i'm gonna uh, i'm pretty sure this is the only red so i'm gonna start out with that mm. so how i how have you guys been doing i'm sorry i'm i will be struggling it is very early in the morning uh, i'm getting the the first sun rays um and i'm i'm quite mad about getting into winter because that that means that I'm probably not um, going to be able to, to film in the mornings because, well, there, there will be no light <laughs> in the mornings anymore. So that's quite annoying. But I hope you're all well. Um, I know uh, it's, been, it's been a long time, like maybe a week since I've last uploaded. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I had a lot of things to do. Um, had to work on my crochet projects, and I got <laughs> I got into a lot of things. Okay, uh, <laughs> please forgive me. Um, I've done so much, so much. Okay, um, I. 
not only finished the the sweater that I was talking about last time, uh, but I also had the idea of the year, okay? I made a little suspension for my baby plants. I made a suspension um, using crochet and it is cute. It is so cute. I love it. This is the, the greatest idea that I've ever had, okay? Because uh, I don't know if you know, uh, I'm a big plant fan i love plants i find them so cute they are my babies and yeah i love plants more than i like people usually <laughs> um but yeah i i get um i get very excited when when i get to have plants new plants and we've been uh we've been kind of out of space for them um which is a shame because i always want more so what I did is engineer a little a little piece with pot holders um, so that I can suspend them onto my um, uh, how are they called curtain you know the bar that holds the curtain the curtain bar I don't know if that's a word but let's say it is so <laughs> So yeah, and and it looks very cute, um, and now I get to have uh, to have more plants. So I'm really excited. Um, so the new plants that I plan to have is uh, ivy. Uh, I cut some um, <laughs> like a, a, a total weirdo um, in the streets. Like we have a lot, a lot of ivy grow growing around. So. I just I just went and and, and, and cut it <laughs> cut a piece uh, to to bring home and the, they the, they've been pretty happy I, I placed the uh, placed them in the water um, to see if maybe they're the if they're going to to make some roots but I'm I'm not sure um, I, I, uh, I just saw that you could do it that way. So I'm waiting for them to to make roots, and then uh, I'm probably going to make a kind of um, wire structure so that they could um, so that they can grow around it and make a cute pattern or something. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Um, and yeah, I, I'm a crafty person. Even um, I, I like stitching, but it's not my only creative hobby let's say um as i said i'm a crochet crocheter crocheter i still don't know uh, <laughs> i'm I, I try knitting uh a bit more these days um and i picked up a new hobby this week okay yes another one please please don't be don't be judgy <laughs> not that you would be but <laughs> Um, I'm kind of judging myself for having that many crafty hobbies. I just like doing things with my hands, you know. Um, so what I <laughs> this is kind of the the story of that is kind of ridiculous. Okay, hear me out. So I was watching a kind of um, thrift flip, um, and so that girl she bought a. I'm sorry, I don't remember the channel. Is, at all um but she she bought a very nice bottle um you know it was blue tinted and kind of like with patterns embossed patterns on it it was really cute really beautiful bottle and and because it was a flip th uh, thrift flip you know um then she engraved it with some patterns and I thought it was it was a wonderful idea and th that's the thing that I've wanted to do for quite a long time I've always like found it really cool to engrave the glass and so I was like yeah oh, I would totally get into that oh I, I so want that I so want to do that okay so the next minute 
I'm searching on like Amazon or the internet um, for Dremels, right? And then, and then I I remembered. But Lucy, don't you remember ten years ago when you went thrifting with your grandma, and you found this this nail polishing machine <laughs> for five euros? Don't you remember that you have that and you've never used it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember. All right. I remember. <laughs> so what did I do? Repurposed a nail polishing machine to carve glass. <laughs> How wild is that? I'm gonna park it there. How wild is that? Okay, so I'm just I, I just want to show you really quickly what I've done because I just think that it's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so first off, mm, sunflower glass jar. How cute is that? How cute is that? I'm sorry if it's not really focusing, but it's really big and I can't zoom out that much. So, but how cute, how cute, okay? How cute. And I painted the lid and stuff. It is so so adorable and i just love it it's wonderful isn't it please tell me i've done a good job look at this little candle holder i had so much fun doing that and honestly it doesn't look that bad uh well it looks bad there because there's wax inside but isn't it cool I, I think that it doesn't look that bad. I've done quite a good job. I, I think that, that it's it's looking really fine for first experiences in glass carving. <laughs> so let me zoom you back in. And yeah, I've done that. Oh, sorry, shaky, shaky. Um, I've been doing that um, and, and, you know, searching for glass items. And I think that, yeah, tomorrow I might go thrift with my mum sorry so that I can <clears throat> so that I can um, find some other um, some other glass items to carve and maybe to give away because um, I am not a good gift person I I don't usually have many ideas to to gift people and so because um, Christmas is just around the corner, uh, I thought that it would be a nice idea to give away jars, engraved jars, depending on the person, maybe with a different design, and, you know, fill it with something I'm not quite sure yet. I think maybe I'm, I might go with tea. I think that it would look so great with, like, dried flowers inside. So maybe... Maybe I'll invest in some tea, like flowered tea or something. Um, tell me if maybe you have a favorite brand of of dry dry leaves tea. I'd love to know. Um, I, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe I might do that. Um, but yeah, I've been having so much fun uh, engraving this stuff. <laughs> Um, quite an unusual and, and kind of unexpected, uh, that's the word, unexpected hobby right now. Um, um, I don't know, but I just, I just loved, uh, <laughs> you know, having the idea of doing that and just doing it. <laughs> it was, it was very funny. And so I still haven't invested in a real Dremel because this nail polishing machine have been has been really handy like it, it works fine it works great the only problem that i have is that i i only have one um uh how how do you call it you know the little the end that you put on it so that with a, a pointy end um that is that has kind of sanding um uh, characteristics 
um, you know, it's rough and I only have one of those. So I think that if, uh, if it, oh, sorry, <laughs> voice crack, if it ever gets really, really badly used, um, well, I, I, I just, I just have to, to invest in a new, um, in a new Dremel. Um, but I mean, it, it works so fine. It's kind of, <laughs> I, I find it so funny, but yeah. So I've been engraving glass. I've been continuing my researches on, you know, folklore, magic, witchcraft, the occult, and all of this. It's been really interesting. Kind of more interested in the herbalism, uh, kind of, kind of like side of things. Um, I don't know. I'm just you know I I love plants, so I find it quite um, fascinating to learn about all the medicinal and magical <laughs> properties of um, of plants and trees and you know the associations that that go with them I just like this it's adorable so yeah I've been doing that what else did I do I went to buy some paints because I want to repaint my desk as well. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> about that. Because the thing is that my my desk is very... Um, how would you call it? It seems like there's a layer of very fine and lacquered um, wood. I I'm not sure. It's... Um, very very strange I don't really know what it is but it's covered with a very lacquered finish um, and the problem is that I, I know that I should probably sand it before I paint over it but I live in an, in an apartment I'm uh, struggling um, in an apartment and um I'm I'm forced to do it in my to to repaint it in my room to work on it in my room, but because the the cat would probably pee on it while it's out on in, in the living room, so I need to work on it in my room and it is not that large and I really don't want to sand anything and have dust in it for like two weeks. Uh, it is, um, I really don't want that happening, so, um, I think that I'm just going to skip the step and, and, and hope for the best with the paint, um, I really hope that it's going to stick, otherwise, um, I'm gonna be really sad, because, um, yeah, my desk is bright orange, so... <laughs> Not ideal, um, really uh, just, um, it, it, it hurts the eyes, let's just say it like that. I've had it for like, I, I'm 20, almost 22, I think that maybe 17 years. <laughs> so I'm quite bored of it and I wanted to, instead of buying a new desk, might as well repaint it. I'm a, and as you can see, I really like to repurpose stuff. I mean, things that I don't use anymore, I'll see another characteristic in it that that might be useful for another thing. And that's kind of my my thing. <laughs> to do that um i mean my my grandma my grandmas are quite crafty as well but honestly repurposing stuff for for things that they're probably not meant to do at all is my 
mark of fabric so <laughs> um okay i'm gonna do you first and yeah what else did i do oh yeah i really want to you know make myself some i i don't want to say home decor because it is uh, more practical things than anything but i've been uh needing an incense holder for the longest time um actually right now i stick my incense into a candle so that it <laughs> so not the best i'd like to have a nice incense holder uh, same goes for my candles um i'd like to have nice trays for the tea lights and to have a nice candle holder for my large candlesticks but i don't have any and i don't know i felt like a <laughs> Again, like, <laughs> I felt like I could make my own, <laughs> probably. So I bought some clay, air dry cl clay, so that I could try it out. Oh, I made this one I wasn't supposed to. Oh, my bad. I'm gonna park it there. Um, and so, yeah, air dry clay. I think I'm going to do this just after filming this video. I'm going to go and and make something out of clay immediately so i was i was uh, mm, debating if i for my incense holder if i want something more leafy or if i want something with mushrooms i love mushrooms i love the look of them um so maybe i could do both actually <laughs> i want a kind of plate you know i don't know if i want it really flat or if i want it kind of curved and you know the the actual part of the incense stick that you put like the 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 part where you stick your incense stick um would be like the head of the mushroom or something like this i think it would look super cute I love it and I oh and I I saw um a wonderful idea I think how oh, I don't remember the name of the channel again um but it's um a really crafty and mostly clay based channel DIY channel and it looked so cool um the 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 lady she this isn't there at all uh <laughs> the lady like baked i think she baked them i don't know if it was air dry clay but she made um like more than 60 um little leaves with a hole at the base and and then she put a string through um, like a how a cord not a cord um not raffia what was it how twine yeah that's the word uh, a twine string through the holes and like made separate strings with some like a different number of leaves every time and and then hanged it and it like up some, it was it, it looked so fun to do and and really beautiful like I, I think that i could do a great like um artificial um hanging plant like this um whoa this stitch looks wonky anyway um and I really want to try that out. I'm not sure that I have enough clay to make everything that I've mentioned, um, but I think that it it will be it will be cool. It will be cool. So as you can see, I haven't had um, the time to f record or even just to stitch. Um, haven't really had like I, I wasn't excited about stitching this week. I really didn't want to. I had other things to do. And other things that 
I thought were, were exciting. I also made a lot of stickers. Um, so they aren't like using a Cricut or anything fancy like that. Um, I use parchment paper and tape, clear tape, to make my stickers. And um, it, it, it sounds kind of like really cheap, but actually I think they look quite cool. I'm just going to show them to you real quick. So, um, like these, this is what it looks like when it's just watercolour on, um, on the Canson paper. Look at this, isn't it? Isn't it adorable? And, uh, once it's in tape, it looks like this. I think it's adorable. Look at that. So yeah, I made quite a few of those. I think that I have over a hundred now um, and I think that I'm going to maybe sell them at the um, Christmas market that I'm going uh, to participate in, participate in uh, during the December month. So I have to make quite a bit of those because uh, um, I'm going to sell them in lots. So you know, in packages, I, uh, I don't know, by five, probably, so, yeah, have to make quite a few more. And, yeah, that's basically it, um, I think, I think it is, but I'm not sure. Um... It's been it's been quite busy. It's been quite busy, but I just love crafting. I just love doing things with my hands and 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 you know, having the satisfaction. How satisfying is it to do something with your own hands and like, you know, have a blank piece like have a, having a blank canvas then painting it something over it. And then you can say, I made this, like it was blank, and now it's colourful with patterns and stuff, and I made it. It's me. It's it's just so satisfying. The same goes for crochet or knitting for me. Like, this was five balls, five balls of yarn, and now it's a functional item. Because I had the patience and, you know, the the skills to do it and that's to me that that to me is super satisfying i just love making things <laughs> into into things <laughs> <laughs> wow that's a wonderful quote for me <laughs> i just love making things into things thank you lucy and uh, and yeah so um, what else did I do? I think, I think that's already plenty of things to do, to, to have done. Um, oh, I have my stickers all over now. <gasps> this is a nightmare. Okay. Um, so... Yeah. Um, I was looking for. Um, how do you call it? You know the thing that is inside candles that you light. <laughs> how is that called? Um, mesh. Uh, how? Um, a candle. Can candle. I'm all over the place, guys. I'm sorry, I can't speak. Um, this is exactly why I need to speak English every damn day because I then I can't remember anything, and I lose a lot of um, of my speaking skills. How would you call that? Oh, um, no, <laughs> I had a moment, but no. Um. Uh, 
A. Oh God. Well, it will come to me later. Um, but I, I, re I was really disappointed because I wanted to find some um, to make, not really to make candles, but um, I have really large uh, and deep uh, candle jars. Um, but the problem is that I'm quite paranoid uh, of light, of lighting, lighting them. Um, because there isn't that much wax left and um, I'd really like to make it melt and reuse it in a smaller container um, I, I don't like lighting um, candles where where there isn't much wax left for the only reason that I've been traumatized um, <laughs> Um, I had a bad experience lighting a, a candle like that and not really watching it that much when it was really burning out. And what happened is that it made a super large flame and because I was really scared and it's, it, it smelled kind of bad and uh, it was um, making a lot of noise and uh, it scared me the hell out so what I did is because it was really close to a wall um I kind of panicked so I took it with my hand and <laughs> yeah I burned myself uh, obviously you don't take really hot items into your hands but I burned my hand and as you probably know by now I, I am nothing without my hands <laughs> All, everything that I do, I need to use my hands. So I was really unhappy. It was um, not a good experience at all. So I figured the only way I'm going to avoid that forever is not to light candles that are nearly burning out. And um, and just, uh, yeah, just avoid the situation. So I'd like to melt them and... And pour them into smaller containers so that I can reuse the wax. But I can't find any. How is it called? Um, a. <sighs> if I haven't found the word, um. By the end of the video, I encourage you to tell me in the comments. <laughs> I'm probably going to check anyway. But how is it? It is driving me mad. I have to search for it. Yeah, but how do you do that? <laughs> um... A wick? Is that it? Is it a wick? Kendall wick? Okay. Kendall wick? Yes, that's it. So that's a wick. I, I was searching for wicks. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah, I'm so stupid. Of course it is. Kendall wick. Okay, okay. I totally forgot what color, color I was working with. Did I even? Yeah. This isn't at all where it was supposed to be. <laughs> Such a mess. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there because. <laughs> what? What are you gonna do? <laughs> um. Oh, I have sweaty hands. Um. And so yeah. Wow, that's been a crazy week, actually. I kind of didn't realize until I I said it out loud. Um, I'm sure that I've done plenty of other things, but I kind of forgot about it. Um, I don't know. 
have kind of trouble sleeping though. Um, these days, don't quite know why. Yeah, well, yeah, I know why. I I've been assaulted by a mosquito. Um, okay. Uh, from one thirty to four a.m., the bastard decided to not let me sleep at all, and bzz, bzz, in my ears, it was absolutely. Horrifying, terrible, I hated that um, because I couldn't find the bastard. Um, I tried, <laughs> I, I lit, I turned on, turned on the lights like five times during the night and saw him only once. And when I tried to smash him, uh, completely failed. So, and from then on, I didn't, I uh, couldn't see him again. So... Um, that was, uh, an experience. Um, if you could, if you, if you couldn't tell, I absolutely hate mosquitoes. I think they're an error of nature. <laughs> um, they're probably useful for something, but honestly, can't, what have they done for me lately? Okay. Um, I, I'm just, I don't like mosquitoes and I think that, yeah, this one really, really held it like kind of a grudge on me. I don't know. Um, I must have done something to his family or... <laughs> He's, he stung me thrice. <laughs> Three times on the same eyelid. Um, I just, you know, looked like Quasimodo the next morning. So that wasn't really nice. Uh, it hasn't really... It was really swelled, but now, even now, it's been two days, even now it's not, it's it's not ideal, okay? It hasn't de-swelled that much, and I'm kind of um, spicy about that. So, so yeah, I uh, haven't slept that well <laughs> after that. Um... But, you know, we have to have mosquitoes because the, um, basically the whole neighborhood and even larger than just the neighborhood uh, are built on former swamps, if I remember well. So it is a very humid, um, you know, environment and it retains water quite a bit. And we have kind of, I don't want to say a lot of vegetation, um, but you know, it's not purely urban. We have quite a, a few parks around and uh, a few trees and plants and um, floral things on the ground and stuff. So I think that this is where they come from basically like still water we love that and yeah it's kind of inevitable to have mosquitoes i don't know why sometimes i even have my windows closed and they manage to come up, to come in i don't know how they do that um and i hate it <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I know that they are quite um uh isn't isn't it geranium geranium essential oil that keeps them away and citronella as well. Uh sure, but I mean citronella I think they they are so used to the scent that that now it doesn't do much for them um some years ago i know that my grandma just sprayed my sprayed me even bathed me <laughs> in citronella so that i i wouldn't get stung by mosquitoes but you know nowadays it doesn't do much they just they're just like yeah whatever they must sting you anyway This is very, very dangerous what I'm doing here. 
Um. So yeah, that was kind of a life update. Um. And craft update. Lots of things. Tell me if you like to see other creations that I do. I mean, it's no professional work, but maybe you'd like to to see some things that I do. Um. I don't know. Tell me. Tell me in the comments if you're interested. Uh, maybe I can. Um. I can do something for you. Um. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not sure that I'm really good at explaining. Um, I don't think that I can do uh, many like DIYs or tutorials. Uh, but maybe I can update you if I ever thrift some, I don't know, for example, cute bottles and jars. And I decide to engrave them, like film the thrifting haul and then... Uh, and then show you when I decided to engrave it or to engrave on it, sorry. Uh, or s things like this. I'm not sure if you'd like it. Maybe if you if you would, tell me. And, you know, I know the channel is called Stitching Frog, but maybe um, I'm not only a Stitching Frog. You know what? Frogs leap. And they leap around on, on different subjects. Like myself. I think the frog really represents me well. Um, <laughs> on a metaphoric level. Metaphorical. I think that's how you... You do... You, you say it. So, yeah... That's been slow stitching, really, really slow stitching, but my hands are really, really sweaty for some reason. I should maybe open the window, but, you know, my noisy neighbours, they're always there to ruin a recording day. So I'm going to jinx it uh, and be too confident. <laughs> I'm going to leave the window closed. But I think that we're um, finishing this little square and then calling it a day. I have so many things uh, planned yet. Uh, I really just wanted to speak to you guys. Uh, the stitching is just bonus, but, you know, and it isn't really proper. Like, it doesn't look really neat right now. And I'm sorry about that. Um, it was just more of a chit-chat situation. I really wanted to to talk to talk to you guys and also answer your questions um make sure you you ask um all your questions in the comments um i'm really always glad to answer you uh if i haven't answered you uh this is because i wanted to record the answer and post it in the video so yeah um please um and please, yes, subscribe as well if you want to see more of the content. And leave a like if you like this type of chatty um, chatty video situations. I'd like, oh my god, and I haven't even thank you, thanked you yet. Because we're almost at 200 subscribers and that's awesome. That's totally awesome. I, I think that we are at um 195 or something like this it is insane thank you so much you guys you're wonderful you're wonderful and i hope that yeah you're gonna stick around to see more content and you know to chat with me um i love when you comment um and, and seeing your little anecdotes and tips and you know just just seeing you there even if it's just to say hello uh i'd be glad to see you in the comments i just love seeing your comments and yeah let's get this done i'm not sure that 
I've done this right. Um, okay. Yeah, that's that's okay. So yeah. Hundred stitches in forty five minutes. That's terrible. <laughs> and I mean it's a hundred stitches that are not to be done. Holy cow, yeah. Thought that I was uh, going to pull up a knot. It doesn't happen usually, it doesn't happen a lot. Um, when I get out with my needle and I uh, go up, uh, sometimes, but very, very rarely, I will uh, pull out a knot. Uh, because if you didn't know, I make knots at the end of my threads to start my thread. Um, and usually I don't have any problems, but sometimes it does happen. Um, so I, I, I need to be ever so mindful and ever so careful. Sometimes when I'm around a big comfy area or... Um, where I, where I know that I have a lot of knots... I will be extra careful. And this is it. This is it, you guys. Oh, I am so, so happy that I uh, got to record a video for you today. Um, I kind of missed it. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, again, subscribe if you haven't done already and maybe leave a like if you liked this content please 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 comment and i'll be so happy to answer you either in the comments or in the next video that i do and why why won't i <laughs> oh no i pin stitched but i have another ah this is classic okay i'm just going to cut it for now um so yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye